All right, just want to make a quick update on the VFD compressor here, just because um, I didn't have the pressure switch set up in the last video, but um, just to show you how this works, um, using the stock pressure switch uh, that came with the compressor, it has the air unloader here, which is nice. Um, I just have this wired up right now with some ethernet cable, and I know this isn't ideal because it's wrapped around the, <laughs> the power uh, going to the motor there, which is uh, probably not a great idea. But uh, it does work for now until I can get it cleaned up uh, in a better way. It's whatever it is. But anyway, just show you how I have it wired up in here. Um, <clears throat> basically, I'm just using the pressure switch to tell the VFD when to turn the uh, motor on and off. I have reverse locked out because obviously I don't want to run these in reverse. They're not going to cool very well and they may have issues lubricating themselves. So I definitely want to wire it up so that it's in forward and then, you know, one of the one of the program things in here is you can lock out reverse um, PDO 23 there's reverse rotation selection I have it set to zero which is reverse run forbidden so that'll stop it from you know somebody from inadvertently coming in here and pressing FR and getting it running in uh, reverse so uh, how I have it set up here is basically uh, the white wire there is going to the uh, it is uh, which one is it? DCM. So that's the digital ground. And then I have the, the orange wire on FOR forward. So in other words, whenever that switch is connected, it grounds out that forward. Whenever the switch connects, it runs it um, forward. And then when the pressure switch determines that the pressure is full, it uh, turns it off. So um, the, the only thing that I uh, might want to do at some point here is figure out how to get this thing to uh, sort of be like a variable speed on demand. So replace the pressure switch with a pressure sensor, like a transducer. And uh, I don't know um, what sort of analog inputs this thing has. I haven't really looked into it yet. But in theory, it would be possible to have it uh, normally run at a re relatively low speed. Obviously, you don't want to go past, go below the minimum for these compressor heads um, just because they won't be able to lubricate themselves or most of them are, are splash lubricated so uh, you should always you know check the documentation to see if there's a minimum um, speed requirement for the compressor you know work out how many Hertz that is based on your pulley diameters and everything and set that as the minimum speed uh, that you'd ever run it at but under normal operation this compressor is way oversized for what I need so I'm thinking you know if I can run it let's say it runs at, uh, let's pick an arbitrary figure, let's just say it runs at 900 RPM right now, uh, but it's, you know, rated for down to 500. Well, I might have it use the pressure transducer to run at 500 under most normal circumstances, and then if it detects that when it's on, the pressure is still going down, it can speed it up to sort of try to catch up, um, you know, just as a, to keep the noise and everything down, even though this thing is amazingly quiet, really, for how big it is so I think with the compressors the bigger they are it seems to be the quieter they are so um, maybe one of these days I'll get a rotary screw compressor and play around with that but that's a long ways away so but anyway I'm very happy with this unit um, you know I, the only thing I can think right now is just longevity of the motor with the VFD it's a US Motors I don't even know the model number on it uh, it's a, it looks like a decent motor but you know I have heard stories that uh, VFDs can be tough on three-phase motors just I'm, I'm really not even entirely sure why it's something to do with the frequency harmonics and who knows what but um, as of now it seems to run okay it starts reasonably well under load I haven't pumped it all the way up because I had to take the the uh, gauge out uh, to clean it and uh, so I didn't want to have to drain all the air and pressure cycle the tank but uh, it seemed to start without any hesitation at uh, well over 60 or 70 pounds so I don't see why it wouldn't at uh, 140 so at any rate very happy with it but you know that's how I have it set up so you definitely want to look into doing something like that if you're going to do a VFD on your compressor you do not want to just use a contactor and you know you, you can't treat a VFD as if it were three phase coming from the power company um, you can't just cut it off um, it, the VFD will will definitely hate that and uh, you know might let the smoke out of it so um, you, you uh, definitely want to use the uh, built-in controls and uh, it's much better anyway because honestly that's that's how you get the benefits of the VFD.